Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, it's Mr. Z Zero here to show you guys how to uh, get some to get Twitch w installed into Streamer Bot. So I'll have the link in the subscription to this GitHub. It's basically a Kick.com uh, integration for Streamer Bot. So basically, to get it installed. First thing you do need to have a streamer bot installed and ready to go on your PC. I do have videos uh, on how to install it on my YouTube, so make so go check that out. When you're over here, click on the releases. When you're on this page, you want to click on the kick.bot zip file. Save it to your desktop to make it easy and save it. Now, once you've got it downloaded, open it up and you're going to see these files over here. Now, what you're going to have to do is you want to go to your streamer bot um, folder where you got it installed, uh, where you got streamer bot installed. And basically the way that this works is you want to basically go into your streamer bot folder and look for the DLL folder. What you want to do is you want to take all the files that have the DLL on it, as you can see here, and you want to copy it and paste. You want to make sure you put it in the streamer bot DLLs folder and paste it. You might get a pop like this, continue, don't worry about that. And now go back to your streamer bot folder. Now open it up and let's open streamer bot to add the rest. Now here's my streamer bot. It's opened up and ready to go. Inside that zip file that we just installed, uh, downloaded the kick.bot1, there's something called actions.txt. Open that into your notepad. You're going to see it's going to be a bunch of code. Go to edit. Select all, and then edit and copy. Close this, and now in streamer bot, go to import. And then in, inside the import string, you want to right click and paste. You'll see that it's gonna say kickbot. Now you wanna click on the import. Now go to your actions, and now you're gonna see something called kickbot here. There's a test and then you see all this. What you want to do is you want to open this up. And what you want to do is you want to click on save and apply uh, a pile. Once you do that, you will get a pop up about uh, you know, about logging into your kicks account. If you get a error like this, it means that you don't have Microsoft um, Microsoft Edge installed. So make sure you have that installed. If you still get that error and you still have Microsoft installed and everything, what this means is you want to go back. What you want to do is you want to close your streamer bot. Go back into your folder where you have your streamer bot. And what you want to do is you want to right click properties, compatibility, change settings for all users, and run the program as a administrator. After you do that, you want to go into this folder, find this folder in the stream bot, uh, streamer bot fold, uh, folder, right click properties security and then under the edit over here you want to click add go to advance find all and you want to click on everyone click on allow so everything is checked and press enter oh, okay i mean then click on advance click on a change permissions add Advance there. 
go to everyone and then full control. Now open the streamer bot again. Now go back to your actions. If you, if you uh, didn't get a pop-up yet, you should get a pop-up. If you haven't, then what you do is you go to the kick bot, go under the sub, and then save and pile again, and then wait. You should get a pop-up like this to log into your kick account. Once you're logged in, you'll see something on the bottom of your uh, screen, on the right side, bottom, that you have been successfully logged in. Now, to make uh, things happen, to make things work in uh, the bot, you would have to basically, to create a new trigger, you can just do it like you normally do. Under trigger, right click, go to custom and then kick. Now you have chat, chat message, message pinned, on pinned, commands, the channel for follow. If someone follows your channel on kick, this will activate. Subscription, gifts, chat deleted, timeout, user delete, a user ban, on ban, polls, stream ended, and rate. Now, in order to do sub uh, actions for kick, you basically have to right click, go under core, go to the C, and then, and then you want to click on the execute C method. When you do that, under this one right here, click on it and look for the kick. Now method, you'll see that you can send message, send reply, delete, get information, user information who triggered the uh, alert, get your information, VIP, remove VIP, OG, add mods, ban users, timeout, get clips. Basically you can do all this as you want. To do messages, to send messages, I find it the best way to do it is you go down to where it says send message, save result to variable, and the way I would do it is I normally put, I mainly call it like this. Then I click on OK, right click core, arguments, and then set increment. For this one, basically what you want to have, I have to check my thing to see what I actually have it set to. But what you want to have it set to is um, you want the top here to be set to message. And then the value, you want the message to be whatever you want. So whatever you want to send into a uh, kick chat. So it could be something like this. Click on OK. And now as you can see, these two things here. Make sure that the set uh, instrument message thing is the first one. And then this is the second one. Now, when you do send a message, when this act, when this triggers, so let's say I go here, I say chat message. When someone types something in to uh, kick chat when I'm live, it'll trigger this and send a new message, basically this, right into uh, the kick. This is how, uh, this is the only way to get kick installed and running with StreamerBot. Hopefully, uh, StreamerBot team can. Uh, do some magic on the new update and get it really integrated into the streamer bot just like how Twitch is because I find that some actions and commands don't work but for this this is basically it 
once you log in, you get all the things ready and set up. Every time you open a streamer bot, you'll see alert on the bottom it's telling you that you logged into uh, your kick account. And that's it. You don't have to log in again or anything like that. And that's basically it. Now you're gonna ha now you have uh, kick.com working in streamer bot. Make sure that for triggers, you can always just right click, go down to custom, kick, and then you have all your commands for triggers. To make it, to make anything happen in the sub actions, you have to go under the core, the C, and then execute C method. That's the only way to get the uh, kick commands working. And then here you just pick your command and then say, and okay. If you know how StreamerBot works, you can understand how this all works. I will make a new video on how to set up StreamerBot, make it uh, basically help people get a better understanding on how it works. But as for now, this is it. Um, thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe on my youtube for new videos i'll be making more how-to guides and videos on this type of stuff and uh, don't forget to check my discord server i have a lot of overlays and other files that are free to download on there so don't forget to check that out too thanks for